Hi guys, this is Sadek from Problem.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of error applying update 7, updater process ended with error 1. So this happened to me while flashing a custom ROM via a custom recovery. So to be more specific, I am flashing a ROM on my nothing phone to using the orange box recovery, but the issue might appear across any custom ROM and any custom recovery across any Android phone. It's not specific to any, any specific or particular ROM, it might happen with any phone and any ROM. So if you're also facing this issue while installing or doing an ADB side load of the ROM zip file, then I'll show you how to rectify the issue. And in my phone currently, you could see this is the error code, error applying update seven and updater process ended with error one. So for that, you will just have to flash the super empty IMG file and in the process wipe the super partition as well. So for that, you will have to get hold of the super empty IMG file for your phone. Now there have been a few cases wherein the ROM developer does not give the super empty IMG file along with the ROM. For example, as of now, I am flashing the project matrix ROM on my phone, but the developer of the ROM has not given me the file, the super empty IMG file. So you have the liberty to use this file from any other custom ROM. Just make sure it's of the same Android version of which you are flashing the ROM and it is obviously only for your phone only. So for the sake of this video, I am using a super empty IMG file from the evolution X ROM from a nothing phone to even though I am flashing a matrix ROM. So that does not matter as soon as until and unless you are using the same Android build and as for your phone, the super empty IMG file should work across all the custom ROM. So for example, in case of evolution X ROM for my phone, they have given a super empty IMG file as well. So I have got the super empty IMG file. Let me show you this is the file. So now what you have to do is first and foremost, reboot your phone to the fastboot mode. So for that, from the custom recovery, you have to go to the reboot section. And from here, select bootloader. Do note that you have to choose bootloader and not fastboot. Fastboot stands for fastboot D, whereas bootloader stands for fastboot. So once you are inside the fastboot mode, you will now also have to download the Android SDK platform tools from your, from my guide. You may get hold of it from here and extract them onto your PC. This is the platform tools. Once you've got the platform tools, open the CMD window as well inside platform tools. Let me open, you could either type in CMD over here and hit enter or go to the start menu, type in CMD, then type in CD space, copy the path of platform tools and paste it here in the CMD window. This will change the directory to the platform tools. And now we may flash the super empty IMG file and in the process wipe the super person as well. So let me paste the super empty IMG file inside the platform tools as well. So copy the file and paste it here. Once you have done so, you, once you have the file inside the platform tools, let's now simply copy paste the command. For, so the command for that is fastboot wipe super super empty IMG file. So we are wiping the super partition via the super empty IMG file. So copy the command and then paste it here, hit enter. And with this, the process stands complete and you may now carry out the rest of the process of the ROM flashing as told by the ROM developer. So let me now show you for the sake of reference, I'll now have to boot my phone to the recovery. So let me type in fastboot reboot recovery. And I'll now show you that I should no longer face any issue whatsoever. The ROM flashing steps might vary depending on the ROM and the phone that you are using. So don't refer to the ROM flashing steps from my video. Just refer to the steps of wiping the super partition. And once that is done, you may refer to the instruction on from the guide that you are using. And as of now, for the ease of convenience and just to be on a safer side, it's highly recommended that you do a format data as well. This will wipe off all the data from your phone. If you want, you may do so without doing a format data as well. But as of now, there's nothing on my phone and I want to be on a safer side as well. So I'm doing a format data. This will wipe off all the data and it's not successful. Once that is done, let's now proceed ahead and transfer the ROM zip file onto our phone. So you may either simply copy the ROM file from here and transfer it onto your PC. But as you could see, my phone is currently not being shown here. That's not a cause of concern. You may also use the adb push command to get the job done. So you transfer the ROM zip file inside the platform tools directory and now use adb push file name rom.zip space forward slash SD card and hit enter. And the ROM file will now be transferred to the SD card, which is the internal storage of your phone and the process will take up to a, around a, a couple of minutes depending on the file size. 
so let's just wait for that to happen so guys as you could see the file has not been transferred let me ver verify the same so that the file is here just choose the file and flash it and let's now have a look so as you could see the flashing has now started and it will now take up to around a couple of minutes depending on the file size and we are now no longer getting the error mes message which was the case earlier now there is no error message whatsoever and the ROM flashing has been completed so do keep in mind that after wiping the super partition via this command you might get a few warning signs in the flashing screen so as you could see unable to mount the partition name that is completely normal and nothing to worry about the ROM flashing will carry on without any issue whatsoever and as you could see this is the flashing bar let me show you that as well so just to be on the safer side i'll show you how that the rom has indeed been flashed successfully in the meantime just keep in mind that these warnings are completely normal and nothing to worry about so with that said let's wait for a few more seconds and then i'll show you that the rom has been flashed successfully so guys as you could see the flashing has been done successfully and we're getting the success message at the top as well so guys on that note we round up this video just to recap you only have to wipe the super partition by flashing a super empty IMG file. If your ROM does not have this file, you may also use this file from any other ROM. Just make sure it's of the same Android version and of and for your phone only. As soon as that is the case, you could easily flash the ROM and you might get a few warning signs. That is completely normal. Just reboot your phone to the fastboot mode from the recovery, flash this file, then reboot back to recovery and flash the custom ROM. And after that, you will have no issue whatsoever. In in flashing the ROM zip file and apart from that if you have any other queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching